Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name's Hugh and I'm from Home Network Solutions. Now today I'm going to be looking at the new Unify Door Hub Mini. We're going to take a see what you get in the box. We'll uh, look at what features it has. We'll do a comparison with the Door Hub, just the standard Door Hub. And then we're going to do a quick setup to get it working with an electric catch lock and a push to release button and a reader. Okay, without further ado, let's get on with it. In the box, you don't get a lot. It's just the mini hub, DIN rail, screw pack, and product guide. And this is the mini hub itself. First of all, we'll take a look at the connections on the bottom. The first connections are the exit request. This is where you might connect a push to exit button to allow people to leave through the door without having to have a reader in place. Next, we've got our lock connections. We've got a COM are normally closed and normally open, depending on how you're operating that lock. These connections are able to provide 12 volts of power to something like a mag lock or an electric catch lock, or you can have them as dry connections with the lock being powered by an external source. If you do wish to use the hub to power the lock, you need to make sure that you toggle the button in the center of the hub over to the 12 volts. The last connection is the door position. This allows you to connect a contact to tell you whether or not the door is open or closed. Now to the connections on the top of the mini hub. The first connection is the input. This is for the PoE++ that will allow the hub to be powered. The second two connections are for either your readers or a reader and a camera. This gives you a bit of flexibility in deployment and allows you to choose how you're going to operate the door. And on the front of the reader we've got the status lights which show you when those ports are in use. The final thing to mention is the reset button, which can be found on the bottom of the hub. If you ever need to factory reset this device, this is the button you will use. Okay, now let's make a quick comparison between the door hub and the door hub mini. Firstly, let's discuss the price. Now I'm gonna be using US prices here because the door hub is not yet available in the UK store. So for the door hub, we're $199 and for the door hub mini, it's $129 with a $70 difference. The door hub has four RJ45 outputs, allowing you to connect two readers and two cameras. The door hub mini just has the two outputs, allowing you to connect either two readers or one camera. Although there are many more connections on the door hub, in my experience, you often find you don't need these connections and it feels like a bit of a waste. So in that case, the door hub mini may be a better option, but it will depend on your deployment. You'll notice on the door hub mini that the emergency exit connection is missing. However, you can use the exit request to make the door open in this scenario. Okay, so now we're setting it up and testing it. So here you can see the door hub mini, the G2 reader, the push to exit button and a 12 volt electric catch lock. And you can see that I've pushed this toggle across to the 12 volt so it's able to power the lock. We've got a network connection and PoE in and then we've got the reader which is just connected via this patch cord. I've wired the lock directly into the hub mini and the push to exit button as well. Okay, so now I've explained how it was set up. Let's just check it's all working. So we've got a lock here. We'll just check first of all that is locked. We press the push to exit button and we've got that lock unlocked and then it will come on again. Okay, next one we're going to try the card. So I've registered this card here. Let's hold it against the reader. And again, the door is unlocked. Okay, lastly, I'm just going to check on the mobile app and make sure I can open it that way. Got the door here, press unlock. And we can see that that lock is unlocked. Okay, so what do I think of the Door Hub Mini? I actually think it's a really nice little product and I think it will do very well. It's that little bit cheaper that makes a difference when you're doing multiple doors and it's got most of the features that you're gonna need for a normal door. If you want the extra bits like the chime um, or the siren, etc., or those additional outputs, then obviously the Door Hub is going to be the better option. But on a sort of day-to-day -day door, I think that this mini hub is going to be very useful and we'll certainly be using it quite a bit. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please do subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thanks very much.